In this video, we're going to look at radians versus degree mode on a calculator. I'm using the Desmos Scientific Calculator, and we're also going to look at what it would look like under Excel. So let's go ahead and do cosine of pi. Now, I was expecting to see negative 1 because pi is halfway around the unit circle, and I got something very close to positive 1. Now, what's happening here? we're actually in degree mode. How do I know this? Cosine of 180 is negative one. That's what I thought cosine pi was gonna give me. So we're in degree mode at the moment and I found that out by typing cosine of 180 and got what I was expecting. So Desmos calculator, you can switch to radian mode just by hitting the button here and then you can see that'll change cos pi to be negative one and cosine of 180 to be this value right here, now we're in degrees, so this is 180, or we're in radian mode, this is 180 radians, which is not any normal value we would use. You could absolutely use the sine function. You can even use pi over two. And I know sine pi over two, I'm expecting to be one. And of course, sine 90 is some random value. Well, it's not random, but it's a sine 90 radians. If I switch to degrees, you'll see sine 90 now becomes what we were expecting, positive one. Okay, Desmos starts in degree mode by default, but most calculus is done in radian mode. So you can be sure you're in radian mode just by doing what I showed you here. And basically all your multiples of pi should come out to nice values you recognize. When you go over to a spreadsheet program, I'm using Excel. There's probably a way to switch into from radians to degree mode, but it defaults to one of the two, and I want to figure out which mode we're in. So unfortunately, pi pi is not a built-in constant, or at least I don't think it is. So what I'm going to do is just copy the value, and I'm going to make another video on precision, but this only gives me nine decimal places of precision, 10 if you count all the way from the three. So I'm gonna do cosine and then paste that value in. And that is what I was expecting if we were in radian mode. So my version of Excel is in radian mode right now. I could do something really similar with sine. That's sine of pi. Okay, this number is very small. This number right here is four, negative 4.10 207, the e to the negative 10 means times 10 to the negative 10th. And in the next video, I'll talk about precision because that's what we're going to need for limits. But one way to change it, I'm going to change the whole column at a time. It's normally in general format, which is not in any specific format. I'm going to go to number format. Uh, you could use scientific format, which is actually how this number is displayed at the moment. But what I'm going to do is go number, I'm going right to number. And now I can select the decimal places of accuracy right here. And you'll see that I didn't actually get zero. This is close to zero. Calculators use estimates. And I'll talk about precision in the next video.